In this video, we're going to talk about the importance of finding common denominators when you are adding and subtracting fractions. It's very important anytime you add or subtract fractions that the denominators or the bottom numbers be the same. So when we look at this first example, 3 fifths plus 3 sevenths, we're adding two different things. We have strawberries plus oranges, if you will, or 3 fifths plus 3 sevenths, two very different denominators. We cannot add these fractions the way they are. We would need to find common denominators before we could add them. This next example, we've got 3 tenths plus 5 tenths. So you'll notice we have strawberries plus strawberries because the denominators are the same. They're both 10, so those bottom numbers are the same. So now we could go ahead and add, and it's fairly simple to add. We would just do 3 plus 5 and then the 10, or the denominator, stays the same, so it would just be 8 tenths. Again, strawberries plus strawberries, we're always adding strawberries, so that answer is going to have the same denominator as the problem. Now let's sort these into common and uncommon denominators. Do this quick in your notebook with me, if you would. So we've got common denominators. Again, those bottom numbers are the same. So I can see one right now, 3 twelfths and plus 8 twelfths. Denominators are the same. Then I've got another one, 4 fifths minus 1 fifth. Denominators are the same. And there's one more, see if you can find it. 5 eighths minus 3 eighths. Denominators are the same. These other fractions, all the denominators are different. So we could not add or subtract them as they are. We would need to find common denominators. When we are adding fractions, we are always going to compare our answer back to the whole. So in this case, our whole is 10 strawberries, and we talked about that a couple days ago. So our whole is 10, or 10 strawberries in a basket. So you'll notice we've got our common denominators with our fractions. We can go in ahead and add 3 tenths plus 5 tenths equals something over 10, because again, that 10 is our whole. There's 10 strawberries in a basket. It's going to stay that way until we are adding something completely different, such as hockey players on a team or oranges or something like that. So we've got 3 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 8 tenths. So we have 8 tenths of a berry basket. Again, we are going to be adding 6 tenths plus 5 tenths, and I want you to try to decide what you think the denominator of the answer is going to be. Again, we're looking at 10 berries in a basket, and so we are comparing everything to that whole, which is one basket or 10 berries. So our denominator is going to be 10 again. So we've got 6 tenths plus 5 tenths. So 6 plus 5 is 11. So the answer to this is 11 tenths of a berry basket, which obviously is going to be more than one basket. And that's OK when we're working with fractions. Sometimes we have more than one or we have a mixed number. So 11 tenths, we would do 11 divided by 10. How many times does 10 go into 11? It goes in one whole time with a remainder of 1. So we could rewrite that as 1 and 1 tenth. Now compare that back to the whole. Still, we're looking at 10 berries in a basket. You can see that with our mixed number, with our improper fraction. Everything is over 10 because that's our whole. So let's do another one. This one we're going to subtract. Again, 10 is our whole in this case because there's 10 berries in a basket. So we've got 9 tenths minus 4 tenths. So our denominator and our answer is going to be 10 again because that's our whole, 10 berries. So 9 minus 4 is 5. And so the answer to this problem would be 5 tenths of a berry basket. And again, keep in mind that denominator. I know it seems redundant, but this is hard. You have to remember that denominator, you're always comparing it back to one whole. 